I'd like to introduce you to one of our new uh, brush lines. This one we call a pointed round blender. The reason for the title is this. First of all, the brush is pointed. The tip of the brush is pointed. The brush is set, the, fur, the synthetic fibers of the brush is set into a round ferrule as opposed to a more oval ferrule. Can you see that? So it's a round. It is a pointed round. Now, it still looks a lot different than many of our round brushes. Yes, because the fibers are short. Now, I say fibers because this is a synthetic brush. This is a brush similar to those made by some other manufacturers. Uh, one of the users of this brush came to us and ask us to make this brush, but we wanted to do a more testing of the brush, and so we were a little too slow for her. She went with another company, and that is fine, but we have fallen in love with the brush and are grateful to her for asking us about the brush. Uh, one of the people who tested this brush for us, Bobby T, Bobby Takashima, um, she has really, really used this brush. Now, the brush is here shown with a black handle. When it comes into production, it will have a blue handle because we elected, instead of going with natural fur, we elected to go with what is called a synthetic mongoose. The reason, it is very, very long wearing. And those who've tried the other brushes and then have tried these are just amazed. The brush is a little more expensive, but it's so much longer wearing, it is really worth it. Now let's look at the ang ac action of the brush. <clears throat> With the point of the brush, it allows you to reach into small areas like this. If you have some small areas in your painting that you're wanting to shade and blend, this brush See, with its little point, we'll just reach into those areas and give you that blending touch in there that is uh, so useful in small areas and with the point. See, you can just get into all those little places so easily. You're going to ask me uh, what this is, so I must digress just a moment. This is a Hansel and Gretel plate. It's a little house-shaped plate, and it's part of a series we're doing, and this will be released <coughs> shortly as a pattern packet. Precious little plate, don't you think? Uh, let me show you on the palette how you might blend with this brush. Let's say we have an area of color and you want to uh, add a shadow. Or I'm going to do it by, you know, picking up the one color, putting it on, and then picking up the other color. But you could double load, you know, by tipping. 
see how you can blend that down in? The advantage of your blender, sweet ones, is the shortness of your blender is the touch of the brush. And even if you're working with a fast drying medium and paint, the stiffness of this little point will let you keep blending and blending and blending. Now you can leave it as rough as you want. Uh, for the last couple of years, we're using a lot more texture and things into our, our stroke work. It'll come in several sizes to start with, and then we'll listen to your responses to the brush and uh, determine whether we need uh, more sizes. The large size, especially, is going to be uh, expensive. It may be, when it goes to the large size, that you would prefer to go back to a domed possibility brush. <clears throat> this brush, again, it is the doming that gives you already the blending of color. There will be a domed round blender. It's coming in at the same time. And again, look at the bristles. I still got water in this one because I was using it this morning. But see, the, they're shorter here, they're longer here. It is domed. And when you set the brush down, it just automatically blends. So there's going to be two new brush lines. The pointed round blender and the domed round blender. They are blending brushes. <laughs>